In physics, the electric displacement field, denoted by d, is a vector field that appears in Maxwell's equations. It accounts for the effects of free and bound charge within materials. d stands for displacement, as in the related concept of displacement current in dielectrics. In free space, the electric displacement field is equivalent to flux density, a concept that lends understanding to Gauss's law. In SI, it is expressed in units of Coulomb per meter squared cm minus two. Topic definition. In a dielectric material, the presence of an electric field E causes the bound charges in the material atomic nuclei and their electrons to slightly separate, inducing a local electric dipole moment. The electric displacement field D is defined as D epsilon 0 E plus P Display style math BFD equivalent ver epsilon underscore zero math BF E plus math BF P where epsilon zero display style ver epsilon underscore zero is the vacuum permittivity also called permittivity of free space and p is the macroscopic density of the permanent and induced electric dipole moments in the material called the polarization density the displacement field satisfies gauss's law in a dielectric d equals rho minus rho B equals rho f display style nabla c d o t math b f d equals rho rho underscore text b equals rho underscore text f electrostatic forces on ions or electrons in the material are governed by the electric field E in the material via the Lorentz force. Also, d is not determined exclusively by the free charge. As e has a curl of zero in electrostatic situations, it follows that times d equals times p display style nabla times math bf d equals nabla times math bf p the effect of this equation can be seen in the case of an object with a frozen in polarization like a bar electret, the electric analog to a bar magnet. There is no free charge in such a material, but the inherent polarization gives rise to an electric field, demonstrating that the D field is not determined entirely by the free charge. The electric field is determined by using the above relation along with other boundary conditions on the polarization density to yield the bound charges, which will, in turn, yield the electric field. In a linear, homogeneous, isotropic dielectric with instantaneous response to changes in the electric field, P depends linearly on the electric field P equals Epsilon zero chi e display style math bf p equals ver epsilon underscore zero chi math bf e, where the constant of proportionality chi display style chi is called the electric susceptibility of the material. Thus. D equals epsilon zero one plus chi e equals epsilon e 
Display style Math BF D equals Verepsilon underscore zero one plus Chi Math BF E equals Verepsilon Math BF E Where Epsilon Topic Epsilon zero Epsilon R is the permittivity and Epsilon R One plus chi the relative permittivity of the material. In linear, homogeneous, isotropic media, epsilon is a constant. However, in linear anisotropic media it is a tensor, and in non-homogeneous media it is a function of position inside the medium. It may also depend upon the electric field nonlinear materials and have a time-dependent response. Explicit time dependence can arise if the materials are physically moving or changing in time e.g. reflections off a moving interface give rise to Doppler shifts. A different form of time dependence can arise in a time invariant medium, as there can be a time delay between the imposition of the electric field and the resulting polarization of the material. In this case, P is a convolution of the impulse response susceptibility chi and the electric field E. Such a convolution takes on a simpler form in the frequency domain, by Fourier transforming the relationship and applying the convolution theorem, one obtains the following relation for a linear time invariant medium d omega equals epsilon omega E Omega Display style Math BF D Omega equals Verepsilon Omega Math BF E Omega Where Omega Display style Omega is the frequency of the applied field. The constraint of causality leads to the kramers kronig relations, which place limitations upon the form of the frequency dependence. The phenomenon of a frequency-dependent permittivity is an example of material dispersion. In fact, all physical materials have some material dispersion because they cannot respond instantaneously to applied fields, but for many problems, those concerned with a narrow enough bandwidth, the frequency dependence of epsilon can be neglected. At a boundary d 1 minus d 2 n Carrot equals D one minus D two equals Sigma F Display style Math BF D underscore one Math BF D underscore two C D O T hat Math BF N equals D underscore one Perp D underscore two Perp equals Sigma underscore text F where Sigma F is the free charge density and the unit normal N carrot Display style Math BF hat N points in the direction from medium 2 to medium 1. History Gauss's law was formulated by Carl Friedrich Gauss in 1835, but was not published until 1867, meaning that the formulation and use of D were not earlier than 1835, and probably not earlier than the 1860s. The earliest known use of the term is from the year 1864, in James Clerk Maxwell's paper A Dynamical Theory of the Electromagnetic Field. Maxwell used calculus to exhibit Michael Faraday's theory, that light is an electromagnetic phenomenon. 
Maxwell introduced the term D, specific capacity of electric induction, in a form different from the modern and familiar notations. It was Oliver Heaviside who reformulated the complicated Maxwell's equations to the modern form. It wasn't until 1884 that Heaviside, concurrently with Willard Gibbs and Heinrich Hertz, grouped the equations together into a distinct set. This group of four equations was known variously as the Hertz Heaviside equations and the Maxwell Hertz equations, and is sometimes still known as the Maxwell Heaviside equations, hence, it was probably Heaviside who lent D the present significance it now has. Topic. Example, displacement field in a capacitor Consider an infinite parallel plate capacitor placed in space or in a medium with no free charges present except on the capacitor. In SI units, the charge density on the plates is equal to the value of the D field between the plates. This follows directly from Gauss's law, by integrating over a small rectangular box straddling one plate of the capacitor a d d a equals q free display style oint underscore a math BF D C D O T mathram D math BF a equals Q underscore text free on the sides of the box dar is perpendicular to the field so the integral over this section is zero for the space inside the capacitor where the fields of the two plates add D equals Q Free display style math bf d equals frac q underscore text free a, where a is surface area of the top face of the box and q free a is the free surface charge density on the positive plate. Outside the capacitor, the fields of the two plates cancel each other and e. Topic D zero. If the space between the capacitor plates is filled with a linear homogeneous isotropic dielectric with permittivity epsilon, and the charge Q free is kept constant, the total electric field E between the plates will be smaller than D by a factor of epsilon E equals Q free epsilon A. Alternatively, if the voltage and E are kept constant, the stored charges will increase by a factor of epsilon. If the distance d between the plates of a finite parallel plate capacitor is much smaller than its lateral dimensions, we can approximate it using the infinite case and obtain its capacitance as c equals q free V approximately equals Q free E D equals A D Epsilon Display style C equals frac Q underscore text free V approximately frac Q underscore text free Math BF E D equals frac A D ver epsilon where V is the potential difference sustained between the two plates. The partial cancellation of fields in the dielectric allows a larger amount of free charge to dwell on the two plates of the capacitor per unit potential drop than would be possible if the plates were separated by vacuum. See also History of Maxwell's equations Hashtag the term Maxwell's equations Polarization density Electric susceptibility Magnetizing field Electric dipole moment <laughs>